Hi, and welcome back to Dorler Nails. Today I wanted to share with you my mystery package from Maniology. I had ordered this the same time that I had ordered my mystery set from Daily Charm. So let's get started. Now, if you don't know about Maniology, Maniology is usually known for their stamping plates and stamping polishes. Um, I have bought a few of their stuff previously in the past, and so I like their quality. Um, I'm excited to see what's in here. This is, um, it's called Luster. So these are like gold foils. Looks like gold and silver foil. Alrighty. It says here that these are a stocking stuffer set one. And these are the nail lacquer. Take a look at these colors. Oh, these are gorgeous. So we have like a hot pink, a brown, and like a Tiffany blue. Up next we have a cuticle oil, which I actually are, um, is in need of some cuticle oil. We have, now I think I've ordered these, I think I've received these before. Oh yes, look, they are mini nail files. These are so cute, they look like little, little owls. That's so cute. The next are, oh, they're nautical nail decals. That is so cute. It says here just to rub on. So you cut out the design, you apply the sticky side down, you rub it firmly, and then you peel off the clear cover. And then I bet after that, you'll you'll seal it with top coat. That is so cute, just in time for um, summer. And these are the three plates. So let's take a look. This first one is called, well, I don't know. This first one, I don't see a, a name on it. And this one, I don't know if you can see through the blue um, screen, but these are like a sloth, a cactus. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. Like, I think that's probably like a raccoon. This plate is something that I normally wouldn't buy just because um, I don't have clients that ask for like these kind of designs, but these sloths are so cute. Alrighty, let's open up this next one. This next one again, I don't see a name on here. So this one, so this one looks like it's got like a little penguin over here. It's got like a llama that is so cute, the llama. Um, that looks like a lion and then these over here looks like koi fishes and another llama Alrighty The next one here again, I'm looking for a name and normally they have names on their plate, but this one I don't see it Okay, so this one has like little um, This looks to be kind of like a science like a, a science uh, medical plate Look, we've got a heartbeat here, a spine here, maybe for like chiropractor. Oh, that is so cute. Um, let's see, we've got some lungs, a stethoscope, we've got a syringe, we've got a broken bone. Oh no, these are so cute. I love this. And you know what? Again, um, I wouldn't normally buy these kind of plates, but hey, if it's given to me, I'll find use to it. Um, and if you can see here, there's like a little breast cancer um, sign here. And I don't know about you, but every time I see like a sign or a logo like this, I always think about Resident Evil. <laughs> this set was $20 and retail price is supposed to be $57 and it's supposed to include 10 items. So if you count the three stamping plates, the three polishes on um, that six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, that is true. And it said that, um, these were just limit one per customer. So I only ordered one and I left all of my like scraping card and um, the squishy stamping um, head at work, but I'll be sure to um, bring it and then add a clip of how well these um, transfer on these plates. So as far as a $20 value, I think it's worth it. Um, this three piece set alone retails for $18. The stamping plates are $7 each, so there's three, so that's another $21 value. So this cuticle oil is retailed for $8.
These nail stickers are $3. Actually, I couldn't find a price on these mini nail files. Um, this gold and silver foil is originally on retail for $8, and so it's on sale for $3. So all together, I think collectively, it does retail for um, $50. I think if you're looking into maybe starting um, stamping and you don't want to spend a lot of money, try one of these mystery kits. It's so, it's so cute. Um, Alrighty guys, let me get into the demo of how to um, stamp these. I'm going to lay down a paper towel because stamping can get a little messy. This film that's on the um, stamping plate, you just have to remove it. It's on there so that obviously the plates don't get um, scratched up before it gets to you. So I just used a pair of tweezers there. And this is what it looks like. Alright. On top of these stamping polishes, there's like a white and a black. And um, once you stamp an image, you can swatch it here so you can see it, how it shows up against a light and a dark background. So that's what I'm gonna do here. I've also got with me my stamping head, again from Maniology, my stamping card. I also have a lint roller. Um, this is used for when you get done um, stamping you just press the image on here and then continue on to the next thing all right so let's try this hot pink color and i'm gonna do it over a big image just so it can cover enough space of the black and the uh, and the white with stamping you have to work quick um, before the image dries. So there's the image. Here's my bottle. And there you go. Let's see if my camera will autofocus on that. Quickly, I want to show you how I clean my plate. So I just take some acetone, a lint-free wipe and just wipe it off and it should just dry but sometimes when it dries it can leave like a little white mark and so if it leaves like a little like white kind of ashy mark I just clean it over with some alcohol but in this case it just dried pretty um dry pretty clean again all right now I'll really jump into the next the next swatch this next stamping plate I'm going to use this kind of um Tiffany blue kind of mint green color I'm gonna do it on this lion. It's got such great detail. And again, I'm gonna swatch it right on top of the bottle. The image picked up perfectly. Mine is that little spot at the top. Um, that happens when I swipe, but I didn't add enough pressure to swipe it clean, so the polish was more heavy at the top, but still very nice. This last one I'm going to swatch with this kind of brown color. It actually is called Down the Chimney. I didn't realize these colors had name on them. So let's see, which image do I want? I want a big image. Let me do this one right here. Oh, I can already tell it's very, very thin. Let me try that again. So I just take my lint roller, clean it off. Take my alcohol, clean off my plate. Let me get an image that's bigger and got more detail on it.
This brown is so light. I'm not even sure if you can see that. The image picked up well. All right, guys, if you enjoyed me swatching these, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye, guys.